another nice cool morning back over here at the be the good project I got the skid steer and the smooth bucket on the trailer i do have a stone coming this morning i'm gonna go walk up there and grab the roller and bring it over here uh it rained like an inch or so at my house yesterday afternoon and it's only like five minutes from here and doesn't look like the first drop here well, at least that's good enough. I can go ahead and uh, it's not too wet, so I can go ahead and put all that stone down and set a chance of thunderstorms this afternoon. So see what happens and maybe I can burn another brush pile if it uh, does rain. Well, first load of stone is spread. We've got uh, two trucks today, so they can just kind of keep working their way around here. I'm gonna take the grader and go down there and shape up the edge of the road a little bit, and then uh, take the ruckus rake, run down it, and uh, get those shoulders smoothed out up there and just kind of work on the road as I kind of work my way back down the hill here. I got the skid steer unloaded and ran the rake, uh, ruckus rake down the edge of the road it's so dusty man can't hardly see what you're doing two truck loads of stone here one two two or three on the ground two on the ground three on the ground now about to be load number four knock this down and then see where uh, we need some more at. This is only about two inches thick. It needs to be about five.
I didn't cut the camera on, I was watching the tree branches, but we got that load spread through here. I'm gonna take the grater and keep running through here and kind of knocking this down. We should have enough stone right through here. That should be the only tree branch in the path there. All right, I'm gonna set the camera up under the uh, grater here and you can watch me roll a little stone, stone around. All right, we got a few little thin spots. So I had them stop right here and it's gonna run a thin layer out down through there and I'll knock it down with the grater. And I still got to grade that right there. Everything from the pond dam to probably about that corner should be done now after this load. Perfect.
So we're still hauling rock back to the back. Got a load of riprap right there for the new ditch that's gonna go in here. I'm gonna go up here and try to take the motor grader and try to cut a little bit of a swale down on each one of these roads to a little area right here. When I get the mini excavator over here, I'll dig the ditch through here and then cut all this in. I'm gonna try to cut a swale down this side of the path right here as well. Let's see how it works. Well, I just had to uh, make a break and jump off the grader there. This storm came through and it is falling a flood. No more stone today. But I think when it quits raining, I think it's wet enough now. You can set a brush pile on fire. That was the uh, third truck driver calling me back to tell me it was raining. <laughs> I said I know, but it looks like it's dying down, but I think it just rained about a half an inch in about 10 minutes. So let's go up here and see what uh, this looks like because I don't have my pipe put in yet. And it currently looks like a river pouring over the path. Yep. So that's where the, uh, that's where the pipe's gonna go. The good thing is I can see that my my ditches are working. It's coming right straight down the path. Yeah. Half of it's missing the pond. Half of it's going into the pond. So once I cut my uh, ditch right there and put it under the road, all that will be flowing into the pond and not across the road. A lot of runoff off this little area right here. been a while since it rained that hard that fast well it looks like the pond came up a good inch or so well now that it's wet enough and there's no wind i'm gonna set these brush piles on fire i'm gonna start with the one right here beside the excavator i'm gonna dig in there find some dry brush completely walking away from the truck that has the bucket of diesel fuel and uh let me grab that and be time to start a fire all right so the brush pile here on house lot number two is started so now i'm going to track over here to our first brush pile that's been sitting since i hauled stuff from up front and set it on fire that ought to uh catch up pretty good it's it's even drier let's see how that goes well the first pile here on the house lot it's cooking down, but the uh, pile I set on fire second is burning even better to the point that I've noticed it's just, uh, it's jumped over here onto the piles that I had dumped out from the dump truck. So I'm gonna run over here and uh, grab some of these and stack them up there in the pile and try to get uh, this consolidated a little bit better. big hickory loads, hickory logs, and all the loads of that. We'll just throw that in the fire and get rid of that. I need to get those big stumps on here so that they can cook down. I guess the good thing about being in a drought is the wood is relatively dry, so therefore, there's not a whole lot of sap in it. Therefore, it burns better. So I'm gonna grab all this. Looks like we got another band of rain coming through. So that'll be good, kinda help wet everything down again, even though it is uh, still really wet. A lot of it soaked into the ground. But uh, definitely going to be able to get rid of the majority of this stuff this evening. Even if I have to come back over here later on and really stack it in here. Wiper on. Too 
pot. Stand beside these piles. It doesn't take long to get a lot of heat on the machine. I'm trying to avoid that. I'm going to build a little bit of a wall here to block some of that heat. stuff's got a little dirt in it. I'm going to separate it out when I got over here. I never got over here. The smoke's kind of blowing towards those houses, but it keeps changing. I want it to blow back that direction. There's nothing for quite a ways. Except my house. Might be able to smell the smoke when I get home. We got another big storm coming through just got that piled up so that should uh well should it is cooking very well so i'll smoke there for a little bit but that should clear up i'm gonna run up here and lay some more on this pile and uh let this stuff kind of clean up a little bit so the uh it's not so smoky it's just smoking because i put a lot of uh wet green stuff on there but It'll, it'll clear up here in a minute. I know it's very hard to tell on camera sometimes because the camera actually sees through rain better than the human eye does. But it is raining probably harder than I've seen in a very long time. I mean, it's, look at the tree blowing sideways. But a good old Let's Dig 18 fire doesn't matter. Nope, monsoon or not, we're cooking with gas, baby. Hope my tree doesn't blow over. It's like in the middle of a hurricane right now. Yep. Good time to burn. Uh, it is still raining. The pond might be full before I leave today. <laughs> it's about six inches deep of runoff around this pile right here. I'm gonna keep piling stuff on there. It's burning. Ain't no need to sit around and look at it, right? Let it get gone. Get the 
the brush gone. Holding up progress. The house lot, not so much. This right here is where uh, we're gonna dig the pond out a little bigger. And this is where the dirt's gotta go. So I can't even work on that till all this mess is gone. Stream dust to mud with Chris. Who is blowing my phone up? Oh gosh. Alright. Well, I'm going to lay a little bit more on here and uh, let it burn down some. Well, it's still pouring down rain. I think the pond is full now. I can't quite tell, but I got all of this brush that was stacked right here on the pile and burning. Machine is requesting a park region, which I'm not gonna complain because this will be the first one that has ever popped up since I've had the machine almost a year. So getting close to almost 600 hours on it. So I don't feel that that's too unnecessary so I'm gonna stack this up real quick and go over here and put the machine beside the truck and park it because sometimes this can take 20 to 30 minutes tracks are definitely super muddy now and it's still raining but burn pile number one is uh, burning pretty good gotten the whole second row and about half a row three in the pile unfortunately the wind's blowing the way I wanted it to blow but all those embers are blowing right there where uh, they land on the machine if I go up there and get any more so I'm gonna leave and let this burn down tonight the second burn pile over there is uh, all the brush is now in that pile so that'll sit there and burn down tonight and well i take that back there's about two or three loads piled up over there that'll burn down along with this one come back in the morning push everything up and finish burning the uh, rest of that over there so honestly i couldn't ask for it to have uh, gone any better